we try to keep the guys heads in the game with Christmas and then you know being out of the, eliminated from playoff contention well I think anytime you have um, any holiday you know you got Christmas whether you deal with Thanksgiving I think it's always difficult for what we do and I don't even mean the last game I just mean in terms of uh, the outside noise when you're winning when you're on a winning streak everybody telling you how good you are and when you're struggling people telling you the things you need to improve on so it's to me it's our job is to come to work every day and put the best product we can on the field Baker Mayfield if you were to send him uh, off with some marching orders what kinds of things would you think that uh, he would need to work on in the offseason Oh, I don't know. There, there's so many things collectively that uh, that we need to work on um, offensively, and I'm sure he would he would comment on the things that he feels like he needs to work on the off season. Feet all the time with us when we ask him about stuff. Did his footwork ever get right this season? Oh, uh, right is. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he right is a word. I think there's there's times you really see improvement there where he's able to go through his reads and his progressions. We protected better the last few weeks, so I think it has helped. You know, we just got to continue to, um, in terms of route discipline protection, I think then the confidence will continue to grow. He can, like when Mary Kay's asking about marching orders in the off season, is that stuff he can improve on or does he have to get the game day to really? Sure, I don't, I don't think there's anything that, uh, that you can improve on or at least work on. Is it a little bit harder without live bullets? You know, not only uh, guys coming off the edge in terms of protection, but also uh, details in terms of routes and how we do it. Sure, sure. There's nothing like uh, actually getting out there and practicing together collectively as a group, because drill work only takes you so far. It's a good step. It's a start, but it's only a start, and then you carry it over. There's layers to learning and and continuing to grow, not just him and all players. And, it, you know, so it starts in the meeting room and then you take it from there in individual and then you take it to teamwork and then and then to games. So you get a set amount of time with guys with OTAs and, uh, you know, mini camp mm -hmm. uh, before training camp starts, obviously. Do you encourage guys, like, do you, would you encourage Baker or any quarterback to go seek somebody? There's all these, you know, private personal quarterback coaches out there and I mean I just re read about you know guys working with people all the time and sometimes there's different results but Lamar sure. Jackson stands out as somebody who really you know seems to have benefited well there's a there's a lot of, for every position there's a I guess I would call them trainers in terms of what they do for players you, you have it at all positions some some are strength and conditioning some are technical in terms of what you're asking from a player and each in fact most players have at some point in their in their career and a lot of guys at the professional level uh, have have sought out you know help from people outside of the building which again is fine now, that's up to each, to each individual player uh, I would say there's a big difference between um, again all of it is good people that that dedicate their their time and their livelihood to improve players performance on the field um, so but there is a difference. There's a difference between uh, tutoring and training and then what we have to do, which is be held accountable for their actions. Do you go into a game aware that, that Odell needs like 46 yards to reach 1,000? Is that any kind of a thing uh, for you guys to have him reach a little bit of a milestone like that? I actually hadn't heard that till today, so that would be up to the head coach. Is, what has Odell shown you by and we've talked about it, but that playing through that injury that's bugged him since however long, um, has he shown you anything by playing through that and looks like he's going to get through all 16 games? Sure. I, you know, the year I've been around him, he likes to play the game. I mean, he does. He likes to play football. He's very competitive. He's a prideful young man. And, you know, it, it's, been, it's been hard on him. It, it really has. It's been hard on him to not be able to play at the level he's accustomed to. But yet, uh, you know, he's he's worked his way through each week and, and gotten to the game and, and given us a chance to still be explosive. Looking back for, for a sec, um, just your thoughts on the, the end of the, the first half and just you know, how that impacted. Uh, disappointing. 
I think is the best way to put it. You know, just by the way it, uh, you know, it, uh, at one point you're just just talking in generalities. I mean, you're you're up six nothing. You've really controlled the game as a team. Defense has played really well. We haven't turned it over. Haven't played as well as you'd like on offense. We had some opportunities that we didn't take advantage of. But the interesting thing is, you know, when we had the ball, they're up six nothing. We had it three snaps, and then it was twenty-one to six. And right there was really where the game got away from us. So there's there's no way around it. Um, doesn't mean we still didn't have opportunities. We did, but uh, that that was a tough uh, tough pill to swallow. Been customary for coaches in the final exhibition game to allow another coach to call plays. Is there any discussion about you doing that in this no. game? We voted uh, Nick Chubb the player of the year, you know, kind of like team MVP. Um, can you just kind of quantify how important he's been to this offense throughout the season? I think you hit it on the head. He's been the one, the one mainstay for the most part through 15 games, there, there'd be a couple in there, but for the most part, we've been able to run the football. That's, you know, it started with having a tremendous scheme that I think our guys have developed each week. And then, you know, having the players up front to be able to block it, which they deserve some of the credit. Nick obviously is certainly very capable in terms of taking what we've, you know, come together collectively as a game plan and executing that and breaking arm tackles. And he's been ultra consistent, durable. You know, it's hard. Again, I think that's the biggest thing as often as he's carried it to be durable. And then to continue his productivity, even with Kareem coming on board. So tremendous football player and tremendous person. I mean, I can't say enough about Nick, obviously, beyond even um, as a player. Something about him personally that you will remember from this season, just quiet he is or just what he's like. Nick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't. He does. He has a, he has a great person. He's awfully quiet. But um, again, he, anything you ask him to do, he does. You know, he, there's a consummate pro. For as young as he is, that's, he's a consummate pro. Baker Mayfield will be the first uh, Browns quarterback since 2001 to start all the games. And he obviously worked through some stuff this year with the, uh, the hip and the hand, and probably some other ribs and maybe other stuff we don't know the extent of. But um, did you learn anything about him from that standpoint to get through the, the whole season? He's mentally and physically tough. That's that's how he's wired. He loves to play football. And I don't think he could ever see himself not playing on Sundays. I mean you'd have to you'd have to drag him off the field. The, the doctors would have to say, you know, X, Y, and Z could happen if you played. Otherwise he's gonna want to play. That that's just how he's wired. I don't care what it is. I don't care what event it'd be. If it was if there was something at stake and he could compete at it, he's gonna want to be out there and get after it. It's been 18 years. No, I don't. Is that crazy to think? Uh, it is now that you say it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's almost like saying no one yardage that a player needs. I mean, it's just, unless someone brings it to my attention, I'm always kind of focused on Cincinnati's this week and what we're going to do today at practice to give ourselves the best chance to have success against Cincinnati because that's really all that matters right now.